Hi dear friends, I am Gunay Mehmedova from Western Caspian University. Our today's topic is writing paragraphs. Hamburger Hamburger paragraphs Why hamburger paragraphs? Let's see how to write a really great paragraph. Hamburger and paragraph How are they related? But first, let's try to identify what's a paragraph. A paragraph is a short piece of writing, often 6 to 8 sentences long, such as beginning, a middle, and an end. A paragraph includes a series of sentences designed to develop one topic. Paragraphs should look like a hamburger. They should be a top, middle, and bottom. Top is a topic sentence. Middle are details and bottom is a closing sentence. The topic sentence, top one of the paragraph. The very first sentence of your paragraph, it always needs to be indented and tells what your paragraph is going to be about. In this paragraph you see the first sentence, there are many reasons that I love to teach. This is the topic sentence of your paragraph. The first detail. Let's think it's a lattice. It should not be the most important detail, needs to follow directly after the topic sentence and needs to be full of good lattice details. First of all, I love to teach because I love being at school. This is your first detail of your paragraph. The second detail. It might be tomato of your hamburger. It should not be the most important detail, needs to follow directly after the lettuce sentence and needs to be full of good juicy details. Another reason I love teaching is that the days go by quickly. This is your second detail. The third detail, it might be cheese of your hamburger. Should not be the most important detail, needs to start differently than other sentences, needs to be full of good cheesy details. A third reason I love to teach is because I love seeing students understand something new. This is your third detail. The last detail, it must be the most important because it's the meat of your hamburger. Finally, the most important detail should start differently than most of the other sentences, needs to be full of good meat details. Finally, I love to teach because I love to be around kids. This is one of the most important details of your paragraph. And closing sentence, bottom bun of your hamburger should look like a lot, the topic sentence, needs to summarize the topic, needs to be an obvious end to the sentence. And these are just a few reasons why I love to teach. So as you see, the top bun is your topic sentence. The sentences that comes next are your supporting details. They are like the lettuce, tomato and hamburger patty in the middle. And holding everything together is the bottom bun of the hamburger. It's a concluding then sentence. Now it's your turn to write. But don't forget to use transition words in your paragraph. For first details, you can use first, to start, to begin, or for example. In middle details, you can use transitions like also, next, in addition, second, third. For last detail, you can use finally, last, last, but not least. And for concluding sentence, you can write in conclusion to summarize, as you can see. Thank you very much for your attention.
Bye.